Okay, so uh, we are now set up for um, ventilation in an adult patient. And I have my current settings, uh, breath rate of 8, tidal volume of 400, inspiratory time of 0 0.8, FiO2 21%, simply because I'm using uh, room air and a sensitivity of 3 liters per minute. I have my alarm set. I have zero peep currently. So let's talk about changing modes. So I'm currently in assist control and I want to go ahead and change into SIMV. What I'll do is I'll hit the select button. That flashes, hit it again, and that switches me over to SIMV. Now you can see what happened is the pressure support lit up because now that I'm in SIMV and my patient can take spontaneous, spontaneous breaths, I can go ahead and give them pressure support. So I'm going to select that, and let's go ahead and do five of pressure support. Select it again. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back in to assist control, and you can see that the pressure support is now dim because I don't need it anymore. We'll keep it in SIMV for now. So that is how I switch between modes. Now let's say that I want to switch between types of ventilation. I am in volume control ventilation right now and I want to go to pressure control ventilation. I simply hit select, hit it again, and it now puts me in pressure control ventilation. You can see that my tidal volume is now dim because I have no, uh, because I don't set a tidal volume in pressure control, I set a pressure now you can see that there's this pressure control centimeters of water plus PEEP. That is what's known as a PEEP compensated ventilator. We'll go ahead and just reset that alarm since my volumes are a little lower. Hit the silence button. <clears throat> so this is what we call PEEP compensated ventilator. Um, with the pressure control that is centimeters of water plus PEEP. Um, so this will be plus PEEP as far as my pressure goes because right now my pressure is simply a 15 because I have zero PEEP. That will change as I increase PEEP or if I decide to add PEEP. Let's say that we want a pressure or a PIP of 20 instead of 15. I'll select the 15 and we'll go up and I now have 20. I'll hit select again and now I'm delivering 20. So let's go ahead and monitor our exhale tidal volume. So right now I have an exhale tidal volume of 328 milliliters, 20 of pressure control. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select pressure control and I'm going to decrease the pressure to 10. I should expect my tidal volume to decrease with the pressure. Again we can't directly affect tidal volume but we can monitor it. So we'll go ahead and give it a couple breaths. You can see it's already decreasing there from where it was. Now I'm down to 182. I'm going to go ahead and increase it back to 20 again. I now have 20. My PIP is set at 20 and we should see an increase in the tidal volume. Give it a couple of breaths here and it'll go ahead and show a trend towards increasing. So now I can see that my tidal volume has increased. And that's actually how we do pressure control ventilation is I'm no longer setting a volume, I'm setting a pressure. And the volume that is delivered and exhaled is going to depend on the pressure. And of course that will also depend on airway resistance and lung compliance. Um, so that's the basics of uh, switching between modes and switching um, between uh, types of ventilation, um, specifically volume versus pressure control ventilation. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about assessing for auto peep and assessing the plateau pressure. So I currently have settings of um, pressure control ventilation in SIMV mode, and I have a rate of mandatory rate of eight. My peak inspiratory pressure set at 20, and I time is 0.8 seconds. Pressure support of 5, um, FiO2 is at 21%, sensitivity is 3 liters, I have 0 peep, and I have my alarm set. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and assess for auto peep. So what I'll do is I will select the inspiratory slash expiratory hold button. I'll select that. Expiratory hold comes up. I'll hold that. 
and it actually gives me my auto peep in this case it is zero now that is exactly how we would assess for auto peep with this ventilator and of course if I had a graphics package you definitely want to be using your graphics to assess for the uh, presence or absence of auto peep now, let's uh, go ahead and talk about assessing the plateau pressure as we know plateau pressure is a good indicator of static lung compliance and um, I can actually calculate my static compliance and of course the difference between the peak inspiratory pressure and the plateau pressure um, gives me a good idea of what my airway resistance is and can give me a good idea of where I need to set my pressure support. Now when we talk about being in pressure ventilation here will I be able to obtain a plateau pressure in pressure control ventilation? Well absolutely not so um, you can see that I don't even have the option for an inspiratory hold because I'm in pressure control ventilation and it simply ventilates up to that pressure and then um, stops at that pressure. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and put the ventilator into volume control ventilation. I'm now back in volume control and I'll hit the button again and you can see that it allows me to go between um, inspiratory hold and expiratory hold. So I'll go ahead and select inspiratory hold and I'll hold the button down, gives me my plateau pressure, I'll let go and it calculates my static compliance for me. My plateau pressure, my static compliance, and then my overall change in pressure or delta P. And of course I could do the auto peep assessment as well. Okay guys, hopefully that makes some sense and, and hopefully that help, helps you guys out as far as uh, some of the basic concepts of the LTV 1200, mainly how to um, set up and initiate for initial adult ventilation.